Welcome back to another episode. I know I've mentioned many times on here how intimidated by book talk and sometimes bookstagram that I have been. And I've only really been a part of those communities for probably two years. And it's, I just remember coming into them and being so overwhelmed by learning all these new somewhat corporate feeling abbreviations and terminology. And so that's actually the focus of this week's episode. We're going to break them down for you. And we also have some book talk drama updates for you as well. Lost in the pages, we wander the trails With words as our guide Our spirit sets sail through magical stories We embark on a quest And bound book babes, we journey our best Bobby do you remember Joe Arden? The uh, on Google his his job title is reciter, but he's an audiobook narrator. Mm. Um, yes, I remember. Do you remember him? There was a bunch of drama surrounding him back in like February or March of this year. Yes, yeah, um, we talked about it briefly about him. Yeah, and that's all Book Talk talked about it for was briefly, and then it just kind of like disappeared. Yeah, so he, today I went and I... I haven't seen anything on no, that topic. Nothing. No wrap-ups. There was like an announcement that he stepped down as CEO of that company that he worked for. Um, some sort of publishing audiobook company. I don't remember the name. Um, there's been no updates. The only one I could find, and I don't know how new this is to you, uh, a third-party lawyer uh, investigated and they found no wrongdoing and that was the end of it everything was completely dropped nobody has talked about it nobody's picked it up it all of it just went away it just disappeared there's no updates since march none whoa i can't find anything on it oh my gosh that's wild Very because strange. like so many people came out with accusations like, not only against yep. him, but the company as well, and other people working mm -hmm. at the company, if I remember correctly. I I don't remember that. It's possible, though. I mean, the other thing, though, is that a lot of times when a few f accusations come out, they're grouped with, like, other people jumping on the bandwagon. Um, yeah. Like, what, what is that mean? called? Fame by proxy or whatever? Sure. Oh. Um, so there's always a little bit of that in, in these stories. That is true. Um, I think nobody talks about that part of it. But it's very, very strange that it just disappeared. Swept under the rug. Yeah. Put back up on no, the bookshelf. Yep. Forgotten about. Neither side coming out and saying I've anything. Just disappeared from book talk. And I don't know why. So if you know why this disappeared... Or why nobody's talking about it. Let me know. Because I can't find anything. Yeah, I'd be really curious Anywhere. to understand too. Especially because like, you know, there were some serious allegations and victims, right? Like, where did, are they getting yeah. justice? Like, what Were is, they fake? Y yeah. like I, Or did he pay them off? Yeah. I don't know. I don't know where it went. Yeah, and how stripped of he is his access to i think it was blue nose audio was this company i just remember right. because it ha i have a pitbull mix and i she's a red pit but anyways i digress <laughs> that's how i remembered um <laughs> yeah i think it was like oh pitbulls now they're gonna be in association with this <laughs> like they already get a bad rap <laughs> like <laughs> That was my exact train of thought when I, <laughs> when this was all going down. Uh, yeah. If you're wondering why I'm crying, you'll have to go <laughs> be a part of our exclusive membership over at Buy Us a Coffee and see what happened before we started <laughs> recording this episode. Because I died. 
and couldn't stop laughing and had to take a couple takes on coming into this episode. Uh, Buy us a coffee and watch behind the scenes bloopers. What a deal. What a deal. Yes. Um, our book club is over there too. We're in the first week of our book club and I'm very excited. I already have all the reading done. I really like the first book. <laughs> so, so there's that. A couple of updates on our end, at least, you know, some positive updates. Um, and we're reading Year of the Reaper. Year of the Reaper. Year of the Reaper. What's, who's the author on that one again? Um, I can see the cover, but I can't. S- it's a wonderful cover it's a very it's so enticing good. cover art it is so if good. you're interested in reading year of the reaper or chatting about it with us come join us follow our little link and join our very private very exclusive book club yes. for our very first month our very first month yeah so watch us stumble through leading a book club yeah <laughs> So her name is, I went back to look up, because I saved the phonetic, say, how to say her name phonetically. Uh, Ooh, good thinking. Makaya Lucier. Makia. Makia. Makia Lucier. Yep. So, yeah, come join us over there. Um, and after this episode, you'll be more prepared to chat the lingo. Yes. As we t- all the terms we learned. Yeah, so let's get into that. Kristen, I have a question for you. Yes, Bobby. When was the last time you had some type of formal English or literature education? High school. Yeah, mine was maybe freshman no. year of college. For like yeah, a gen ed. I got, mm-hmm, I got put in remedial English. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> I, should, I probably should have been too, but that's the last time <laughs> that I've had a formal like English literature lesson. And it's, and even when you get into literature, I think a proper literature lesson would probably be in high school, like a breakdown of stories and storytelling and stuff like that and how literature is, you know, organized and, but that doesn't even help you with TikTok and IG lingo, like at all. <laughs> like that's not even helpful, like, because the terminology, it doesn't align with like formal education in it because they're about the themes and not the writing structure, right? So these these mm-hmm. li- this lingo is more around like um, tropes or um, types of characters or inner character relationships, things like that. It's it's a lot less, you know, structured. Borderline random. It's borderline random. Yes. Yep. And and that's why I was <laughs> like, this just reminds me of corporate world. Like, I don't, this just got so corporate. Like, I don't like that for my reading. <laughs> right? All the, all the like three letter, four letter, what are they called? Acronyms? Yes. Yes. That people just talk in acronyms all the time. And you're like, do we even know what that stands for anymore? Do we even know? Is that a mushroom cup? <laughs> <laughs> it is. <laughs> it is. It's so pretty. <laughs> I turn. I'm. My birthday is this year. I turned thirty. I mean, my birthday's every year, but I turned thirty this year, and I wanted <laughs> this to be my birthday cup at my birthday party. Jake's like, I'm pretty sure that's a vase, and I'm like, I think it's a cup. I'm gonna use it as a cup for now. It's a cup for flowers. It can be a cup for me. <laughs> Yes. What's in it? Actually, there's a gin drink that I made in it. It's very pink. The The container is also kind of pink and kind of iridescent. But yeah, there's grenadine because it's like a very floral gin. So I put grenadine in it with lime. I actually put ginger ale in it because I was at a club soda, which is my normal <laughs> go-to. But um. It's okay. Very fancy. Yeah. Tastes all right. <laughs> Very medicinal. I think that's a vase. <laughs> it's fine. Life's what you make it. <laughs> um, <laughs> do what I want. Live by my own rules. 
I'm dressed like a punk teenager. I might as well act like one. <laughs> <laughs> With a bright pink mushroom glass. <laughs> it's the juxtaposition for me. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. <laughs> you gotta keep them guessing. Keep them on the toes. Uh, you just never know. So, you want to throw some of these at me and see if I can guess them right? Because I suck at this game. Because if you guys also follow along with us, Kristen is really good about like going on social media and actually engaging with people, like leaving comments, like <laughs> interacting. I barely get on and scroll. Like I. That's true. Bobby has, a, Bobby has a life. I, it's been, <laughs> I need to get back on it because I was doing okay because of the podcast, but like I do so much other stuff that I just like ignore the social media part of it <laughs> outside of like producing, editing, like, you know, posting, organizing. And so I don't spend a lot of time on, you know, the, the book talk and Instagram stuff. So... This is gonna be kind of fun for me because I don't know if I'm gonna know a lot of them. All right, first one, and this one's kind of hard because I don't think it's very commonly used. W W M. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> woman, woman, man. Close. I mean, technically, you got all of those letters almost correct. Well, two out of three. So, not even close. <laughs> two thirds, that's over 50%. Oh, two out of three. I, I, I heard one out of three. <laughs> I don't know. You'll find, find out when you play it back what I said. <laughs> You're right. I'm wrong. It was just, <laughs> I'm stupid today. Let's move on. Are you sure you cleaned out that vase and all the uh, floral chemicals that go with it? <laughs> no. Flower power. Uh, Google the Beatles from in 1964 to 1967. That's what's happening to me right now. Oh, that's when they were on drugs. Yeah, after LSD. <laughs> They're all colorful. <laughs> Yellow submarine. Yes. Um. What were we on? WWM. It's women written by men. I would have never got that. I know. Did you uh, see that on the video? Very... What video? Uh, just any video. That's they use it. How do they use it? Like just as one of those. No. Um. I quite literally just saw it like five minutes before getting on here. One of my favorite. Um. Influencers. I guess I was gonna look them up. But um, he has a blog, and so he was talking about men written by women, women written by men. And that's, honest to God, the only time I've ever seen WWM and MWW. I want to read that blog. I've never seen it. I've never seen it any other time, and that's why I thought it would be really funny to <laughs> use today. <laughs> She's like, let me give her the hardest one. I've only ever seen it one time. Little <laughs> shit. <laughs> All right. What do you got? <laughs> OTP. OTP. One true pairing. Yep, that's right. So it's referring okay. to a reader's favorite romantic couple in a book. Team Gwen Real. Just saying. I'm gonna stir the pot on that one. Some people are gonna get mad. If we were gonna use the for example. Yeah. <laughs> um, okay, ship. Oh, that's like a relationship. You're shipping these two characters to be together. Again, my ship is Gwen Real. <laughs> yes, I, I know that one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because of that fandom, specifically, is why I know that. Okay. Um, this one is so, I was so embarrassed when I asked somebody what that, what that meant, what this one meant. H-E-A. H-E-A. I don't know. Happily ever after. 
Oh, that's because I hate <laughs> happily ever afters. <laughs> Isn't it so? I was like, what? Like, uh, it was actually Yaz, the bookish. Like, she posted something and somebody asked for a recommendation that didn't have an H E A. And I was like, what's an H E A? And she she messaged me what back. What's the book recommendation? Uh, I do not remember. This was a while ago. Um, but she replied back and she said, happily ever after. I was like, thanks for, you know. Helping a girl out, yes, as, as per you usually do. Oh, that's a bummer. Yeah. Okay. To play off of that one, HFN. HFN. <laughs> uh, my head went into the gutter first. And I was like, eh, it's probably not that. <laughs> Come on, say it. What do you think it is? I bet you're right. Um, I, I, the F word obviously was in there for some reason. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I was like, happy effing. Don't got anything for that. Uh, happy. <laughs> uh, for, I don't know. Happy. No. Is the first word happy? Yes. Okay, so H-F-N. Happy. Fantasy narrator. <laughs> <laughs> that's very close. Happy for now. Oh, oh, that's kind of sad. That's got some harsh implications. <laughs> it could, but I also think it, it's just one of those where they don't write like 15 years in the future to like catch up with the characters. Mm. So I think it's just like one of those that ends There's really no quickly. epilogue. Like, oh, yeah. Happy Yep, happy for now. That happened to I me think. with a book I just finished. It's just like ended and they were like, good. And I was like, oh, all right. I love those types of endings where like, all right, the whole plot is over. Goodbye. Yeah. It reminds me of Ferris Bueller's <laughs> Day Off where he's like, what are you still doing here? It's over. Go so home. <laughs> That's a happy for now ending to me. <laughs> I'm looking up when this book was written. 2012. What book is it? Surrender by C.J. Archer. You could tell it was one of her older ones. Is that the one you said you weren't a big fan of? Um, it's just okay. You can tell it's like an early writing of hers kind of thing. Oh, I gotta give you one now. I'm sorry. I forgot what we were doing. <laughs> okay. Have you heard of... <laughs> okay, these ones... <clears throat> these ones I haven't really heard used a lot. I had to Google what it was, and apparently there's two, but I'm going to use the one that I saw. A slash slash. So it's not, it's not like an acronym. It's like a, so like the letters don't, aren't individual Meaning. words. It's just the wor term is used for this. Ugh. I don't know exactly what it is. However, there is a supernatural episode where somebody writes a book about Sam and Dean <laughs> called Supernatural. <laughs> and so they're going through and they're reading it. Have you seen? You haven't seen this. And um, <laughs> then so they read the books and then they hop online and they're like, what in the hell is going on? What are Slash fans? What the hell is a Slash fan? And they're like, Dean slash Sam. Dean and Sam together fans. Yup, yup. So that is exactly what it is. It is referring to a male <laughs> slash male romance. So referring to a romantic relationship between two male main characters. I and then there's a really gross part where they go, don't they know we're brothers? I don't think they care. <laughs> Oh my gosh. So yes, that I didn't realize that at all. Um, so I think that might come more from like the fanfic world, right? Like as you explained, um, which was which is a perfect story. <laughs> and I love how it has to do with Supernatural because we've talked about Supernatural a lot on this show. I've still never seen it. Supernatural has a, they really have like everything. After 15 seasons, they've got everything. Yeah. 
I'm sure. And it was my first introdu- introduction to ship, because everybody shipped Dean and Castiel. Mm. Destiel. Yeah, so... If... Somebody buys us five coffees on Buy Us a Coffee, which is $5 a piece, so it's $25. If somebody donates $25 to our Buy Us a Coffee, I will watch Supernatural. All 15 seasons? There's 15? (laughs) Okay, I just need you to know. Wait, everybody heard her. She already said it. There's 23 episodes per season. They're 45 to 50 minutes a piece, and there's 15 seasons. But you... Season 15 only has 20 episodes. Okay, let's do this math together real quick, guys. <laughs> what did I just sign myself up for? So, I would honestly 25 just round episodes? Up 23. 23 episodes times 45 for seasons. For 45 minute long yes, episodes. Sorry, okay. Long, so, roughly. Okay, so that is. 1035 minutes <laughs> for one season. Per season? Yeah. So times we'll just say times 15. We'll just round up. Okay. 15. Oh fuck, I did plus. God damn it. Let me start over. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, I did plus again. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna be here a while. <laughs> oh, I can't do the 23 times 45. <laughs> And then times 15, that is 15,525 <laughs> minutes. Let's divide that. Divided by 60? For hours. Yeah. 258 hours <laughs> and 75 <laughs> minutes. For no. $25. Yes. <laughs> So two hundred no, it's two hundred and fifty eight hour hours two hundred and fifty eight point seventy five hours. So point seventy five hours. How many minutes is that? Why am I f- blanking on this? Forty five minutes. Yeah, yeah. What the uh so <laughs> <laughs> I guess yes, I'll for so okay, that that's how many hours. <laughs> now let's do twenty five divided by two hundred fifty eight. I will be making nine cents an hour. <laughs> Let's do it. I'll, I'll ser- seriously, I'll do this if somebody, and then I'll turn it into a TikTok page thing. Like here, I'm watching another episode, guys. <laughs> like, I promise I will. <laughs> I'm watching Supernatural for the first time. <laughs> uh, okay, well, I committed to that. So... <laughs> Honestly, I'm just jealous. I would trade my soul to watch that show for the first time again. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. So there's also a, f- a to, to lean on that slash thing, there's also a femme slash. So it's the female version. So hmm. that's my little footnote for that. If you want to see more content like this, be sure to hit the like button, subscribe, and click the bell to be notified every time we upload. It really helps us out. All right, what you got? E S T S T L. E S T S T is in Timothy. S is in snake. T is just... in Timothy. <laughs> <laughs> L as in lambada. I'll give you one guess. Who never learned the alphanumeric alphabet? <laughs> <laughs> You <laughs> E S T No T as in Timothy. From the top. Start from the Yes, B- T as in top. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> S as in spotum. T S T S E S <laughs> yes, and Timothy. <laughs> you have to say it again. 
Okay, let's just start over. Yeah. Erase everything you wrote down. <laughs> I didn't write down much. T as in top. S as in shiver. As in me timbers. <laughs> T as in tomato. L as in lumbata. <laughs> Lobotomy. <laughs> Lobotomus. <laughs> Chris. <laughs> I didn't wear makeup today, and you can see how red my skin gets. So bad. I turn into my stupid little <laughs> mushroom cup. T S T T S T. Yes. Okay. <clears throat> um, say it back to me one more time. T S T L. Yes. Okay. <laughs> uh, okay. I, um, I heard E again. I swore I heard like three E's when you first said it. I was like, wait, what? T. <laughs> Just the T. Just the tip. You have no idea how ironic this is. <laughs> Is it really? Oh no. <laughs> TSTL. Top subject together. Top. Top subject together. Top book strip, Bobby. Come on now. Uh, all I can think is top. <laughs> it's about, I'll give you a hint. It's about your hero or heroine. Too smart to lose. Ooh, I like that one. This one is actually too stupid to live. Too stupid it's to live. It's about a hero, or, hero or heroine that <laughs> continuously makes bad decisions, and you're just like you want to shake them, and then somehow they're still alive at the end of the book. Too stupid to live is their behavior. <laughs> yeah. I get it. That makes sense. That's why and it it's is just ironic. Really funny. We couldn't get our shit together to communicate that via the internet. <laughs> that was not planned. That was not planned. Oh my god, you guys. I feel stupid. <laughs> All right. This one's kind of easy if you get it. I don't know. Maybe it's not easy. TBC. B B C. Yeah. To be continued. That is correct. Yeah. I was like, why do I've literally I never watched a lot of television. <laughs> oh yeah. Supernatural has several episodes that <laughs> end with to be continued. <laughs> That's hilarious. I never thought about abbreviating it though. Like I never see it. And then when you do see something that's so common and it's suddenly abbreviated like i'm like what does that mean it's like harder to figure out for me for some reason the internet abbreviates everything yeah everything yeah this one is more of a quiz than do you know what the bechdel test is no so the bechdel test is um it is about a book that has at least two female characters, and those two female characters talk to each other about something other than a man in the book. Huh. For example, if two female characters talk to each other about the power being out, that book would now pass the Bechdel test. Where did this test come from? Movies. There's very few. There's very, very, very few movies that pass the Bechdel test. Huh. Because usually, two female characters only talk about the men in the movie. Huh. And it's true. Obviously, in romance books, it's very, very common. Yeah. 
So maybe we'll do a, an, a future episode, or maybe we'll start inclu- including that in our reviews of whether it passes the Bechdel test or not. Yeah, that's a good thing. That's I never. I'm gonna have to look into that more. <clears throat> yeah, very very few books and movies pass the Bechdel test. Hmm. I'm gonna, I'm gonna write that down next to my T S T L <laughs> Bechdel test. P N R. DNR. P. P. As in potato. As in pterodactyl. <laughs> <laughs> Do you see the video of the girl who swears a pterodactyl shit on her car? <laughs> no, but I'm about to go look it up right now. <laughs> you I love absolutely it. I love should. it more than anything. She like swears. She's like, I saw a pterodactyl shit on my car. <laughs> She's very serious, and it looks like a pterodactyl shit on her car, so I give it to her. <laughs> yep, I'm giving it to her. But yeah, P N R. Please note right here. If you say two words really fast together, it's just one word. Um, P P N R P N R. Please no reedy. <laughs> Paranormal romance. <laughs> It's an abbreviation for paranormal romance. <laughs> Which I just read like, a paranormal romance. Like l- l- loving the ghost in your attic? Yeah, I mean, I guess this one was Bride. Uh, Bride by Allie Hazelwood is listed as a paranormal romance. Uh, because it has to do with werewolves and vampires. It's a good book, by the way. Oh. I really enjoyed it. It's probably one of my favorite Allie Hazelwood. Does it pass the Bechdel test? I don't know. I don't... I know. <clears throat> so strange, huh? I feel like it does because there's two girls in there and there's a situation where they're talking about like their relationship together. And it's not about the men. It's about them. Boom. Pass the Bechdel test. It's a good book. I'll have to check it out. Paranormal Romance. P-N-R. Yeah. PNR. PNR. Want to know my um, favorite okay. paranormal the- romance book? Um, Akatar. No. Is that that's fantasy though, right? I truly don't know what the difference is now that it's werewolves and vampires. I don't Yeah, see, I didn't know, but this is legitimately <laughs> this one I think is legitimately a paranormal romance cuz there's a ghost in it. Like she's talking to a ghost. It is Emily. Let me start over. Emily Chambers' Spirit Medium Trilogy. The first book is called The Medium. It is extremely good trilogy. Um, in it, in all three books, she's working with to solve a murder of a ghost. Hmm. It's very good. Very good series. I have to check it out. I also don't know what the difference is between fantasy and paranormal romance. I didn't either now. Like, this is what I'm saying. This is the whole reason we're doing this episode. Is like, I'm confused, book talk, Instagram, literary world. Like, what happened to the simplicity of when I was a kid and would read all the time and, like, a young adult? Like, okay, can we talk about something really quick? Well, we'll I'll come to it. I'll come to it in a minute. You go ahead. Go ahead. What's your, what's your thingy? Well, now I can't focus. I want to know what you had to say. <laughs> Okay, you, uh, it's about new adult. You know, it's called, like, um, like there's a category of books called new adult. And it's referring to books with a protagonist. And I didn't know this part. Because I was like, oh, it's like for us, for young, uh, like, new adult readers. So, like, you're 18, you're young, like, <clears throat> it's not quite YA. It's kind of in between super adults themes and like you know that's what i thought it was no do you want to know what it is it is referring to a book with a protagonist that is between the ages of 18 and 30 that's what new adult is (laughs) i thought it was for us 18 through 30 but it's about the character being the age of 18 to 30 and and i'm like 30 is kind of late to be considered new adult because honey i've been at it for 10 years now being this adult thing and he could go fuck off (laughs) (laughs) or is 25 well okay so the frontal lobe doesn't develop until the age of 25 
So technically, 18 to 24 are not adults. Yes. Paige and I just had this conversation the other day. It was in, And where did you land on it? Uh, I agreed with her because we were talking specifically about sex workers and how we think it's a valid profession and that, but we do believe that you, there should be an age limit on it. We, and she, and I said, I think you should be 18 because that's legally an adult. And she's like, yeah, but your prefrontal cortex isn't developed until the age of 25. So she's like, so I think you should be 25 or 26. And I was like, I changed my answer. You are correct. <laughs> like, <laughs> I was like, that makes sense. Cause there's so much development that goes on that. So I don't know. That's, that's how we landed on. Hmm. I like it. Yeah. Um, yeah, I think I'll double down on that. I, I agree. I think sec sex workers deserve, at the very minimum, the protection of the law, right? Yes. We were, that was part of our conversation. It would be Bare so much minimum. safer. Yeah. It'd be yeah. so much safer. Agreed. Um, yeah. So new adults, 18 to 25, not really adults, change your category rating. Yeah. Also, if you're 30 years old and you're still struggling, relax, darling. You're only five years old. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> Explains my whole year right now. <laughs> Give yourself a little grace. You've only had a brain for five years. <laughs> oh, I love it. Um, okay. Have you ever heard the term Daphne? Yeah. My dog. Oh, that's right. <laughs> my daff daff and scooby doo <laughs> she was a great dame <laughs> if you didn't put those two together <laughs> but not in the term of books it is a female character that always has to be rescued that explains it that's so obvious Ah. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Is, is Feyre a Daphne then? Doesn't she, like, cast... She, I mean, she rescues yes. herself. Well, she does she, yeah. some of the rescuing. Like, she, yeah, like, the Weaver, she got herself out of that. She gets herself out of a lot of shit. She is not a Daphne. The Worm, no. all of that. No, she's a... What is the other one? Belma? She is a TS, TSTL. She's too, too stupid, stupid to live. <laughs> Feyre, too stupid to live. Yes. <laughs> that. She's a TSTL. Yes. Especially in the first couple books. Like, for sure. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have too many more. Like, you know what an RH is, right? Reverse harem. Yes. So RH is reverse harem. Yep. Which implies that there's a harem. What's a harem? Yeah. Okay. Let's Google that. <laughs> now that we've done the fun ones, should we do just a few that you might run across on your normal day-to-day -day scrolling? Yes. Okay. So I just was like, what is a harem? Right? And um, it says, in former times, the separate part of a Muslim household reserved for wives, concubines, and female servants. Uh, so... It also is suggesting this search may be relevant to recent activity. What is a harem book? So I'm going to click on that link. And uh, harem works are frequently <laughs> <laughs> comedies that rely on the self insert protagonist of whom allow projection for viewer, often accompanied with an ensemble cast of supporting characters. What? <laughs> yeah okay so the genre <laughs> the genre often features a protagonist who's surrounded by three or more suitors love interests and or sexual partners harem works are frequently comedies that rely on self and certain protagonists of whom allow projection for the view that gets to so let's stick with the first sentence because <laughs> it makes yeah sense. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. three or more partners <laughs> okay so but it, but why is there a reverse harem? Consists of one female protagonist and three or more. It's specifically about one. The reverse makes it the female. The harem is mm -hmm. the male. 
Which, why would you go with a reverse harem when you could have just gone, gone with fem harem? Oh, I hear it now. When you say it out loud, it sounds stupid. Fem harem. Fem slash. Reverse harem. <laughs> yeah. Mm, yeah. Yeah. The MC is the main character, right? Mm-hmm. POV. You have your, what do you have, your WMC? No. Yeah, FMC. FMC. MMC. Yep. Female, a female main character, a male main character. Mm-hmm. And then there's DNF, or what we call as DNR for do, <laughs> do, do not finish, or did not finish, uh, did not resuscitate, do not resuscitate. Like, we call it DNF, yep, DNR. Yep. It's, let that one die. Just let it go. Better. Let it go. Yeah, TBR, to be read. It's normally all of our waiting books. Um, ARC, an ARC is an advanced reader's copy. A lot of us know what POV means, point of view. So there's multiple point of views in books. So they tend to flip between character perspectives, right? Ooh, here's a good one. An unreliable narrator. Have you ever stumbled upon an unreliable narrator in your books? Like somebody that... Like, an unreliable narrator, it would be from their point of view at some points? Or... I don't know what it is. Um, a narrator whose POV is not trustworthy could be oh. due to lying, mis misinformation on the part of the main character, or memory issues. Huh. I can't think of a for example I can't of either. an unreliable narrator. <clears throat> Maybe because I'm a sucker and I believe everything. <laughs> <laughs> valid, valid. But seriously. Yeah. <laughs> so... I don't, I don't know. <laughs> I don't either. Um, then we have the different relationship ones, right? So we have, again, male slash male, which it all makes sense now with slash. <laughs> it's like when you see it all together, right? So that's a male and a male relationship. There's female slash female or FF is sometimes how they put them. A lot of times when you see them put these on videos, they omit the slashes and they just put the letter, the first letters right so female female then there's male female uh male male female so typically how this is organized is the one in the middle is like the one that each other party is drawn to right so there'd be a male character that has a male drawn to him and a female drawn to him and then there's uh, like a m what is it like m f m so it's like two males with one female, etc., etc. There's also different tropes, right? So there's, like, one bed. So, like, they get somewhere and there's only one bed and they have to share it, <laughs> right? One horse. There's only one horse. They have to share the horse on this long, strenuous journey. Um, uh, and How long ago... I don't know if I could ever find this again, but when I sent you the reverse tropes... So oh. as you as you go through the tropes, it's like everybody's like, I love the one bed trope. They get to the end for the night, and there's just one bed, and she's and this random meme is like, I want I want a too many bed trope. <laughs> so too many funny. horses. Why are there twelve horses? <laughs> what is H Oh Happily Ever After? That's what I saved the meme. <laughs> I did save the meme that I was like, happily ever, what's H-E-A? <laughs> I was like, I just took a screenshot of one the other day. What was that one? It was that <laughs> one. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. So, if Pop you... quiz. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right? If you know of any other ones that we missed here, please put them in the comments. I really want to know, like, other ones that we missed and stuff, because, like... It can be so overwhelming, and part of what we're trying to do here is just build a community that is not like, um, what is that called? I want to judgy as hell. <laughs> that dude, I was thinking cock block, but I knew that wasn't right. <laughs> oh, gatekeep. <laughs> it's all the same. <laughs> We're not gatekeepers. We're not 
got gatekeepers here. Put it in the comments down below. What is the things that you've seen about <laughs> reading and stuff on social media that you're just like, where did this come from? What does this mean? Like, <laughs> yep. <laughs> Don't be a cock blog. <laughs> Sorry, guys. <laughs> I don't know what got into me today. <laughs> that was perfect. <laughs> be sure to check out our links down below. Check out some of our other videos and be sure to tune in next week where we actually are. Uh, Kristen doesn't know this yet, but I think we're going to do <laughs> we're going to do a review of just literature in general to refresh your memory from your English class that you haven't had for 15 years. So uh, until next time, keep reading. We were starting to spiral and it's 54 minutes long already. <laughs> I had to get us out of there. I fucking love it. I fucking love it. Add the intro, post it. I think it's perfect. <laughs>